So, do any of you remember those Mickey Mouse cartoons from the 1930s? The ones that were just put out on DVD a few years ago? Well, I hear there is one that was unreleased to even the most avid classic Disney fans. According to sources, it's nothing special. It's just a continuous loop like Flintstones of Mickey walking past six buildings that go on for two or three minutes before fading out. Unlike the cutesy tunes put in though, the song on this cartoon was not a song at all. Just a constant bane on a piano for a minute and a half before going to white noise for the remainder of the film. It wasn't the jolly old Mickey we've come to love either. Mickey wasn't dancing, not even smiling, just kind of walking as if you and I were walking with a normal face expression. But for some reason, his head tilted side to side as he kept this small look. Up until a year or two ago, everyone believed that after it cut it to black and that was it. When Leonard Malton was reviewing the cartoon to be put in the complete series, he decided it was too junk to be on, D on the DVD wanted to have a digital copy due to the fact that it was a creation of Walt. When he had a digitized version up on his computer to look at the file, he noticed something. The cartoon was actually 9 minutes and 4 seconds long. This was my source emailed to me in full. He was a personal assistant of one of the higher executives at Disney and an acquaintance of Mr. Malton himself. After it cut to black, it stayed like that until the sixth minute before going back into Mickey walking. The sound was different this time. It was a mummer. It wasn't a language, but more like a gargled cry. As the noise got more indistinguishable and loud over the next minute, the picture began to get weird. The sidewalk started to get in directions that seemed impossible based on the physics of Mickey's walking, and the, the small face of Mickey was slowly curling into a smirk. On the seventh minute, the murmur turned into a blood-curdling scream, the kind of scream painful to hear, and the picture was getting more obscure. Colors were happening that shouldn't have been possible at the time. Mickey's face began to fall apart. His eyes rolled on the bottom of his chin like two marbles in a fishbowl. His curled smile was pointing upward on the left side of his face. The buildings became rumble floating in midair, and the sidewalk was still impossibly negativating in rapt directions, a few seeming inconceivable with what we as humans know about direction. Mr. Mullen got disturbed and left the room, sending an employee to finish the video and take notes of everything happening up until the last second, and afterward immediately store the disc of the cartoon into the vault. This distorted screaming lasted until 8 minutes and a few seconds, and, and then eruptively cuts to the Mickey Mouse face at the credits of the scene of every video with what sounded like a broken music box playing in the background. This happened for about 30 seconds, and whatever was in that remaining 30 seconds, I haven't been able to get a sliver of information about. From a security guard working under me who was making rounds outside of the, that room, I was told that after the last frame, the employee stumbled out of the room with pale skin saying, Real suffering is not known. Seven times before speedily taking the guard's pistol and offering himself at the spot. The thing I could get out of Leonard Malton was that the last frame was a piece of Russian text that roughly said, the sights of hell bring its viewers back in. As far as I know, no one else has seen it. However, there has been dozens of attempts to get the file onto the internet by employees inside the studios, all of whom were promptly terminated of their jobs. Whether or not it got online is up for debate. 
but if rumors serve me right, it's online under the name suicidemouse.aiv. If you ever find a copy of it, I want you to never view it. Contact me by phone immediately, regardless of the time. When a Disney death is covered up as well as this, it means this has to be something huge. Hey guys, the video's over now. Before you click off, I just want to say I hope you like the creepypastorine, and I hope it didn't disturb you or scare you too much. But hey, that's why I put uh, read the description below first before watching the video and the title, especially on these creepypastorines. Now, before you go, I just wanted to say uh, the reason why I've been uploading almost every day and the videos I've been mostly making are creepypastorines is because that I have not uploaded a single video ever since July and because I've been very busy lately and I'm starting to get trying to get back into YouTube and um, I don't want to lose any subscribers and they have been the easiest ones for me to possibly make uh, for a while and since it's almost Halloween I thought it'd be appropriate for me to post these kind of videos but yeah, I think this will be a routine thing for me. For every October, I will be posting a lot of creepypasta readings. I'm still getting back into YouTube, like I said. I will make a lot of even cooler videos. But I've noticed that you guys seem to really like my creepypasta readings too. So feel free to comment down below which uh, creepypasta you would like me to read next. And also, if you could subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share them with your friends, that'd be really appreciated. And again, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to see more of them, go to my channel, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.